welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to ETU TV and to the first stage of the ETU Triathlon Premium European Cup Series 2008 in beautiful Pontevedra, Spain. Let's listen to the interview with the current European rank leader, Denis Dimaki. The place for the Olympics, it goes through the European Cups because I have now the European card for uh, the Olympics. So for me, the, the races that I will run this year till the end of May, it's the three European Cups and the European Championships. It's a difficult race, many girls and also we don't know the weather, how it will be. So it will be a different race. If it rains, it will be difficult. Uh, but I, I will try to do my best. Uh, last week uh, I was third in Hanya, it was the first European Cup that was in Greece. And I hope to do my best also this week, tomorrow. Rio Lares is the river of Pontevedra. That's where the athletes have to swim, that's where the swim course is located. Two laps, the first lap a longer one, over 1000 meters, and the second one over 500 meters. And ladies and gentlemen, the horn signals the start. The 2008 Pontevedra ITU Triathlon Premium European Cup to the women's event. We have a very colorful field here at the start. We have Vanessa Fernandez from Portugal, who is a multiple World Cup winner and a very tough athlete. We have Katrin Müller, a very young and talented athlete from Germany. Melanie Anaheim from Switzerland and Alessia Pustalko who is currently ranked second in the European rankings. Don't forget about Abby Thorrington, who we can see in the picture now, which race number 33, who finished third at the U23 European Championships in Rijeka 2006. She is leading the swim. She exits the water after the first lap, over 1,000 meters, gets onto the pontoon and makes her way back the second swim lap, over 500 meters. She's followed by Vanessa Fernandez from Portugal and the chase back of approximately 10 athletes. So after the exit to the pontoon, they got to dive back into the water for the second and shorter lap, over 500 meters. Many spectators on site cheering the athletes up. We can see the chase back around the swim boy turning to the right hand side and chasing Abby Thorrington who is a very good and very talented swimmer. Vanessa Rowe from Great Britain also in the field today. She has a fourth place at the 2006 U23 World Championships back in Lausanne. And after competition of the swim course, Abby Thorrington up on her way to the transition area over the pontoon and she's chased by a number of athletes, Katrin Müller, of course Vanessa Fernandez, Melanie Anaheim, Birgit Berg from Holland and Vanessa Rowe. Right now she's into transition, she gets her helmet on, grabs her bike off the rack and off she goes. Six laps on the bike, 40 k's in total. And there she is, Vanessa Fernandez, the current world champion from Portugal. She's famous for her lightning transitions, she's very quick on the first leg of the bike. And right now she's trying to catch up with our race leader, Abby Thornton from Great Britain. Heather Jackson from Great Britain chasing the top two athletes. And she goes Vanessa Rowe and Melanie Anaheim from Switzerland. Also Katrin Müller from Germany and Birgit Berg. There we've got our race leaders after the swim. Nuria Miro, local favorite, also in the top ten of the swim lap. So ladies and gentlemen, the bike course consists of 6 laps over 40 kilometers. It's rather flat but technical and obviously the hard weather conditions will make it tough for our athletes to complete the second leg of the triathlon. Abby Thorrington and Vanessa Fernandez up and away, the lens of the camera all wet, you can all see how difficult and tough it is to ride in these conditions. It's also very cold, under 20 degrees and riding 40 k's per hour in average doesn't make it any warmer for the athletes. A chase group of seven athletes trying to chase down the race leaders. But don't forget, Abby Thorrington and Vanessa Fernandez are both excellent on the bike, very strong, very skilled athletes, but they also have to be very careful in these turns as the concrete is wet and very dangerous to ride on. 
bit of an uphill section here. Seven athletes working well together, trying to close the gap to the race leaders. Vanessa Fernandez, she has broken away many times so far, despite being a very skillful and very fast runner. She's also strong on the bike. And there they come. Vanessa Fernandez seems to have some trouble into transition. Don't forget it's very cold and she's very, very skinny, which doesn't make it any easier. So our leading group managed to increase the lead to two and a half minutes to the end of the bike course. One hours and 25 minutes have gone since the start in very cold and very wet conditions and she seems to have some trouble getting on her shoes. She's normally one of the fastest out of transition and onto the run course, but now she seems to be struggling to get her shoes on. What a drama, ladies and gentlemen. She tries to unfix her helmet, but it doesn't work. Look at her face. She seems to be totally exhausted, totally frozen. What a drama here at the European Cup race in Pontevedra. Her coach Sergio tries to give her advice from outside the transition area. How to work it out, how to work this problem out as we have our chase group already back into transition. Vanessa Fernandez, what a drama. She lost two and a half minutes already in transition. And she's still struggling to open her helmet. As we have Jess Toll from Great Britain, storming out of transition, overtaking Vanessa and Katrin Muller, who's a very talented and young athlete. Heather Jackson from GB, storming out of transition. And Birgit Berg, the winner of Kozle 2007. She takes a look over her shoulder what's going on with Vanessa Fernandez and the drama continues. Melanie Anaheim helping the reigning world champion. What a fair play award winning moment. I helped her to open the helmet because I thought no it's not possible she's still there after one minute and yes I thought okay my hands are okay I can help her and then I open her the helmet but Yes, already on the first meter I saw she was totally frozen because she ran very slow. So after transition two, this is our leaderboard. Abby Thorrington leading by two and a half minutes ahead of the chase pack.